Good morning, Strasburg United Methodist Church. It is Thursday, March 19th, 2020, and this is our morning prayer and devotion for today. Uh, today I'm going to be reading Psalm 130. That's our scripture for today. And again, I will introduce a new Tizay song. Uh, for some of those of you who have been part of this prayer service, we've sung it before. Um, but I encourage you to join in. It's a simple melody when you get a chance. Wait for the Lord whose day is near. Wait for the Lord, keep watch, take heart. Wait for the Lord whose day Let us pray. Lord, we pray that your grace may always precede us and follow us in our rising, our work, and our rest. By your Spirit, grant us the ability to do good and to be at peace with others. Our word today comes from Psalm 130. Out of the depths I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? There is forgiveness with you, so that you may be revered. I wait for the Lord, my soul waits, and in his word I hope. My soul waits for the Lord more than those who watch for the morning, more than those who watch for the morning. O Israel, hope in the Lord, for with the Lord there is steadfast love, and with him is great power to redeem. It is he who will redeem Israel from all its iniquities. Friends, we are in a, a period of waiting, waiting to hear the next advice from the government, waiting to see when somebody around us gets sick, waiting to hear when we are allowed to move about freely again, go to our restaurants, enjoy our concerts, enjoy uh, companionship. Uh, I know that we are starving for uh, connection right now, and sometimes Facebook doesn't provide what we really need. But I invite you, as you're in this time of waiting, to also wait for the Lord, in the same way the psalmist did a few thousand years ago, waiting 
for God to be there in the midst of our struggles. Uh, we are going to now pray for our world, and I invite you to be in a moment of prayer with me. We'll have time for silence, and then I will lead a, a prayer um, in general and specifically for people in our community. Spirit of counsel, we ask that you move in the midst of our world leaders, that a spirit of wisdom and peace be among them. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Spirit of strength, comfort the tired, feed the hungry, lift up the poor in our community so they may find rest in you. And especially at this time, Lord, when so many people are hearing about their jobs ending or they're having their hours modified or they're being let go from positions they've held on for a long time. Lord, we ask that you be with people in their anxiety about the immediate future and the long term. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Spirit of knowledge, wash, wash over our teachers and our professors, especially as they are in the midst of, of an interrupted school year. But be with our wise elders, those who have gone before us, who have so much to offer us. Be with our parents who are at home with our kids, struggling to figure out uh, what to say next or how to be with uh, the children so that they may continue to learn. Lord, we ask that in all of our interactions with those younger than us, that we may express your truth and that we may guide the young and the seeking and those who are lost. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. Spirit of grace, open our hearts to the needs of the world. We pray especially for the concerns that we bring today. And I invite you, as you are watching this, to maybe say aloud those names or those things that you need to pray right now. Lord, help us remember those who have lost loved ones. This week in our church family, the Boland family lost Rosalie. Jane Rosenberger lost her sister, Linda I. We have several who are anxious because they are struggling with their own health concerns. We have people in our church struggling with cancer and who are cancer survivors. And so, Lord, we lift up all the vulnerable within our congregation and our community. Lord, let us not be puffed up with outrage over whatever our media shows us. Instead, let us use common sense and care in all of our relationships, both near and abroad. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Lord, we lift up all these prayers to you in the name of Jesus Christ as we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. <laughs>
until we meet again tomorrow. Have a good day.